when Elon Musk first started talking about his vision of the Hyperloop Alpha back in 2013. He argued that Hyperloop would be a safer and faster way to travel, and that it would also be affordable, weatherproof, and self-powering. The basic idea is that there would be passenger pods that travel through a tube, either below or over ground, and that the air in the tubes would be removed by pumps because overcoming air resistance is one of the biggest issues of energy in high-speed travel. While Elon Musk became more involved in his other projects, his Hyperloop vision started becoming a reality for many companies that are eager to invest in this new way of traveling, and so started an atypical race as to who would complete it first, and of course, where would it be completed first. Today, we present to you the top six candidates that are currently working hard in order to make the first Hyperloop operational. Number 1. India Although India seemed like it was leading the Hyperloop hype as to the most possible country to build it first, a lot of things have put a pause to this. The plan was for the company Virgin Hyperloop One to start working in 2020 and connect the cities of Mumbai and Pune, a trip which normally takes about 4 hours, to be made in just 28 minutes. The benefits of completing such a project would be countless, both for the country's prestige but also for the 20 million residents of Mumbai and the 6 million residents of Pune. Although in 2019 the plan was declared an official public infrastructure project, early 2020 saw the project put on hold by the state government due to a lot of concerns being raised as to India pioneering the first system, while investments were needed in order to cover the cost of the other forms of transport. But that wasn't the only problem. The COVID-19 pandemic has also put a hold on Virgin's plans to build the first Hyperloop in India because the cities that the building was planning has been hit hard by the coronavirus. Number 2. Saudi Arabia An agreement between the Kingdom's Ministry of Transport in Saudi Arabia and the company Virgin Hyperloop has been made in order to bring the so-called future of transit to the country. As Josh Geigel, the co-founder and chief technology officer of Virgin's Hyperloop said, being able to have breakfast in Riyadh, go to prayer in Makkah, come back all in time for lunch, do everything that you need to do really gives you a new type of way of being a logistics hub for the actual entire GCC region. The pods of the Hyperloop were also designed to allow social distancing because of their small group sizes, no frequent stops, and adaptive artificial intelligence. They expect to have the Hyperloop ready and running for the public by the end of the decade. The company prepares to build a manufacturing plant and a 35-kilometer test track of Jeddah. The aim is to connect the major Gulf cities, thus enabling more than 45 million passengers each year to reach their destinations in under an hour. Number 3. Dubai, Abu Dhabi it seems like there is a bit of competition going on in the desert because Virgin Hyperloop One is not the only company who wants to build there and also wants to do it first. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, or Hyperloop TT for short, has proposed a 150-kilometer route between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which would cut the traveling time from hours to just 15 minutes. Baibop Gresta, the chairman of the Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, said the high-tech transport link would cost between 73 million dirham and 146 million dirham for every kilometer of the route, but that was a huge investment that would be recouped within 8 to 15 years. The company already has a test track in France and has announced to begin their passenger trials later in 2020. If all goes well, by 2023, the Hyperloop in Dubai and Abu Dhabi might become a reality. Number 4. Chicago, Cleveland, Pittsburgh Hyperloop transportation technologies, though, don't stop in the Middle East. They are determined to win the race of building the world's first Hyperloop, and they will build it wherever it is possible to begin running before anyone else. For example, in late 2019, Hyperloop TT started working with NOACA, short for Ohio Area-Wide Coordinating Agency, and their plan is to release the most expensive Hyperloop feasibility study that there is up to date. Their proposal is to connect Chicago with Cleveland and Pittsburgh something that on first glance seems unbelievable due to the supreme length and complexity of the route, but if they indeed succeed in making this, 
They will help tens of millions of journeys that are made yearly between the cities. From Chicago to Cleveland, the Hyperloop journey will take just 30 minutes, something that is impossible to imagine as things stand right now. But if the project passes the environmental impact assessment that it is currently undergoing, then in the next eight years, the Midwest is expected to receive a huge boost. The construction is expected to start by 2023. Number 5. Mexico City, Guadalajara Normally, the car journey between Mexico City and Guadalajara is about six hours, but if the company Mexloop builds a Hyperloop there, then the time traveling will be just 38 minutes. The company won the competition of Virgin Hyperloop 1 in 2017, but the plans seem to have been put on hold since then, and we don't have many news regarding the fate of the project as of now. Some rumors sat that this project would be completed by 2050, so our guess is that Mexico City and Guadalajara are not going to be among the first cities with a Hyperloop. And although we all know that slowly does it, when we talk about Hyperloops, hey, it's all about the speed. Number 6. Europe don't think that Europe would stay far behind when we talk about Hyperloop. In fact, they might just win the race if they are careful. In Delft, Holland, they have already built the first fully operational Hyperloop system. And although it is only a test tunnel that is just 30 meters and low speed, the promise of completing a proper one is not far behind. A joint technical committee named JTC20 was formed in Europe in early 2020, and their focus is on developing common approaches as the plans to build hyperloops across the continent continue. But that competition is strong with a company called Heart Hyperloop, which is currently in the lead as it has its own European Hyperloop Center based in Groningen, and have a deadline for constructing it in just two years from now. Their idea is to connect all the European hotspots, and they are hoping to have them fully operational by 2028. So, there you have it. These were the top six companies and countries that are currently undergoing the race to build the world's first fully operational Hyperloop. That will change traveling as we know it forever. Which one do you think has the best chances? Let us know in the comments below.